The new look Saunders Beach is undergoing another round of enhancements. A $2.2 million contract between the government, the Bahamas Marine Construction Company Limited, and Tycoon Management will cover the cost of enhancing and replenishing the shoreline on Saunders Beach in hopes of making it more user-friendly. LaDon Davis reports. It's one of the most popular beaches Nasuvians everywhere flock to for recreation, especially during holidays and the summer. Saunders Beach stretches 1,000 feet long, and with this $2.2 million contract signed to the Bahamas Marine Construction Company and Tycoon Management, the scenic view is expected to not only be enhanced in shoreline and seawalls, but more than double in beach size. Minister of Public Works Nico Grant says his project is a continuation of the plans laid out for the overall improvements to the public recreation. He says as he expects work to be done on time and in the best of quality. When completed, the project will increase the recreational beach area by some 3.5 acres at high tide and 4.4 acres at low tide. The project will also increase the sand beach width on an overall average by 65 feet relative to the existing conditions of the shoreline. This partnership also negotiated with Tycoon Management for the transportation of 15,500 tons of boulders from Grand Bahama to the project site and provision of 37,500 cubic yards of sand for the beach replenishment. Environment Minister Earl DeVoe says he is pleased with the expansion of the open space and is encouraging Bahamians to be a little bit more reasonable with their expectations. But as we all know, Sanders Beach is an extraordinarily high energy area and so the work that will be undertaken there will result in turbidity. The question is how do we address it and how do we deal with it? In a high energy area and with the clear waters that we have in the Bahamas, we can attend to this either by putting in turbidity curtains. President of Tycoon Management James Curling says at least 55 Bahamians are currently working on the eastern portion of Saunders Beach. Now Saunders Beach will remain open to the public throughout the construction phase and work is expected to be completed by late summer. LaDawn Davis, ZNS News.